There we go. Wiseman, another board to get it back to, obviously, the man of the hour. And Jalen Rose run this one through. And, um, okay, no defense. <laughs> Galaxy Opal, Jalen Rose, yet another out-of-position PG that we got last year. Coming back to 2K21. And actually, you know what? He looks pretty decent, man. Jalen Rose is a six foot eight, seven foot wingspan point guard, small forward. Love that he has that small forward secondary position. Makes him a lot more versatile than some of the other cards today. And he's got jump shot 32 on very quick, which is similar to DeAndre Hunter, one of the best three and D cards in the game, in my opinion. His own Trevor Ariza card, the Lonnie Walker, all that wonderful stuff. He is just a great card. And the gold Seth Curry, same jumper as him, that carried my Invincible Spotlight Challenge. So I absolutely love him. He can carry slide, he can pro three, all that wonderful stuff as well, which is going to be awesome. Basically, every card can at this point. But Jalen Rose was one of the better PGs last year, and I think he's going to be that as well this year. And because he's 6'8", he can carry on both gens, which means he's going to be great for anybody to pick up, have some fun, and try out with. So, check out any of the gameplays that we have on the channel right now. We have a Dark Matter Poku, Dark Matter Rudy Gay, and Galaxy Opal Darius Miles all on the channel. Link in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button, close the 10K. And now we have a word from the sponsor of today's video. If you need your 12-0 unlimited domination, TTO, or even more services grinded, go contact Rose MBA on Twitter right now at twitter.com slash r6 credits sell. Link in the description down below. And now that that is all said and done, we can flip the Jalen Rose card and check it out. Six for eight from Michigan, 99 offense and defensive overall. They gave him a nice little 86 post fade, 84 post hook. And a 94 midi and three-point shot mixed with jump shot 32, which I find to be a absolutely gorgeous jumper. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, we have a 90 free throw, 80 standing, 90 driving dunk, which means we're going to slash with the best of them, as you would expect. Um, 92 ball handle, 96 pass accuracy, low pass IQ, but that really doesn't matter because we make that decision. And the defense, a little bit lackluster. The 80 block, I wish that was higher by a little bit. So maybe a defensive shoot on this Jalen Rose would really change up the game. An 88 steal, a 93 perimeter, and an 86 interior. So yeah, definitely, I think a defensive shoe from the Kobe's uh, would really help out. We have a 96 speed, speedball, and acceleration. And we do have 54 Hall of Fame badges on the beautiful man Jalen Rose. And basically, every single badge that he has is Hall of Fame. Um, he is an amazing playmaker. He's an amazing slasher. His shooting is out of this world. He has awesome defensive badges. And he has no steady shooter. So he really is going to be a great option at the budget for a uh, point guard on current gen. It was about 7 KMC. Absolutely amazing, man. Quick first step. We got Unpluckable, you know, Deadeye Sniper, Green Machine, and Hot Zone Hunter. And the awkward thing is he has two mid-range Hot Zones missing, but all the 3.1s are still there. They are Hot Zones, so who really cares? That's all we really need, if we're being honest. And some great things like Bullet Passer, Ankle Braces, and Floor General, things like that. Five gold badges, just because why not? Nice to have a tight handle, things like that. And everything that we really need is covered on Jalen Rose's badges, his stats, everything about him is amazing, and he's got a good height out there. Now, I don't think he's going to be a better PG than like a Luka Doncic, but if you don't have Luka and you can't get him by the end of the season, I think Jalen will be a great option as like a substitute uh, for that Luka, or just a backup option, who knows, or even just a small forward at the same time, because he's actually looking pretty good there. So, uh, let me know what you think about this Jalen Rose as we get on throughout the video. Make sure you hit that like button if you do enjoy, or just are excited for Jalen Rose, why not hit the like button, helps you boy out. And subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 10k subscribers. And without further ado, let's get to the gameplay with Galaxy Opal, Jalen Rose. All right, here we go. Looks like we are using the Dark Matter Blake, not the Invincible, because this one's playing the center position. And Wiseman, oh my lord. I cannot win a jump to save my life. Also, Invincible Harden out here. It looks like we have a full Brooklyn Nets themed team, which will be an interesting one out there. Jalen Rose should have a... Uh, a field day out here on James Harden. Let's just loop this through. Get a reverse by Kyrie. Thank you very much. And we'll dunk that down. Also interesting that Kyrie's playing the two. But, you know, who am I to judge? All right, here we go. Let's pass it into the beautiful man, Jalen Rose. And what are you doing with Arden? There's a dunk right by him. Four points for the man right now. And we don't get the inbound. So that's tough. And Harden may chuck this three or just almost turn it over. All right. All right, so a white with Jalen Rose is missing. Where are you going with Harden? There's a dunk again. His perimeter defense isn't terrible, but the inside, he's just letting us right in getting dunks with Jalen Rose. And we have sharpshoot takeover, so we need to chuck up some threes. All right, here we go. Bull Bull and Jalen Rose are having a fun time out there. And where is Harden going with that greed? Nine points right in the face, and we almost have that takeover. The basketball is nearly full. 
Alright, and now even though he has terrible defense, he is full court pressing out there way too far back with Arden and another green right now. 12 points. I don't know why so many people are full court pressing. Know your limits, please. Alright, so more full court press this time with Blake Griffin. I don't know what the hell he was uh, blocking at that time, but let's try to get this through here and whoop, curry it all around. I don't know what is going on right now. Some interesting things. Pressing up a little bit too far. Should be an open three, but Harding gets there in time. And oh, stepping up. There we go. Into the basket again and a dunk. Jalen Rose kind of kind of dunking it down a little vicious. I like it. He's got 16 points and so does his uh, Harden and Blake duo. All right, there we go. Ball with the rebound. Throw that up to Jalen Rose. Get across. We were very, very open. And still are as Jalen smacking that out behind the hash. Man, 19 point jump shot, 32. Solid. All right, there we go. Ball with the board. Right, Allen, step up, please, or don't. <laughs> Give us a wide open green. 24 points for the man, Rose. There we go. Go to board yet again by Bull Ball. He's trying to stand in the way, but let's get the reverse, which he doesn't. God, it, oh, my God. It was 1% of missed. Jalen Rose just sold the bag at the end of the first. That's tough. All right, here we go. And Manu is a full court pressing, even though when he was full court pressing, that's when we got the lead. And we'll just fake it a little bit. Guess not. We'll just go to the paint uninterrupted and get yet another dunk for Jalen Rose. Working on that uh, second sharpshooter takeover. And we'll start it with a tipped pass because we do not know how to steal it. All right, here we go. Kyrie now is at the point guard position. Also, Don Maker is in. Don't think he's on the nets, but a open Jalen Rose is hitting a white for us. First one of the game. 29 points right now for purely Jalen. All right, Jalen Rose going to have some fun yet again. Let's fake it with the screen. Get right inside and the dunk by Wiseman. Oh, my Lord. The takeover meter's full. I think we just had to hit a three and we'll be good. All right, more Kyrie Irving versus Jalen Rose battles out here. Oh, he's jumping at the three-point line. We can run it back. Oh, I was hoping Wiseman would jump again. But you know what? Smart not to, and we get him into the screen. We'll back this one up, and all right. We'll kick it out to Manu. Open in the corner and get the green 35-1. and one. That Hall of Fame bullet pass. Kind of nice. Good little shot there by Manu. There we go. Wiseman, another board. Get it back to, obviously, the man of the hour. And Jalen Rose run this one through, and... Um, Okay, no defense, and he greens it. 31% contested, jump shot 32. Wrap it up, it's a piece of cake, man. That's why Deontay Hunter was godly. Beautiful jumper. Oh, Terry getting the boards right now, and Jalen Rose is out on his own. Why not get the dunk right there? 40th point, and we still have two minutes before it's half time. He, oh, he sits on face with that. What is that? All right, Jalen Rose is still having a great time. Let's run it around and get inside. And oh my lord, and one dunk by Jalen Rose. We can check out the free throw, have some fun. Manu is pissed. Not having a good time. We have that 90 rating and easy greens. Beautiful free throw. Love it all around. 45 with a minute left. Oh, there we go. Terry getting the steal. We have Jalen Rose out running. I was hoping that nobody would guard him. And it works in our favor as he gets another green. 48 points. We actually might drop 50 before halftime. We're on pace for 100. All right, here we go. Jalen Rose. If we have to get one more two-point bucket for 50. And there it is. Right by Kevin Durant. 50 points before halftime with an assist. We are on pace for 100 easy. All right, we got 10 seconds left. One more Jalen Rose bucket would be absolutely gorgeous. And oh my lord, freeing it up. And I guess we'll have to give it to Manu. And it goes. <laughs> Look at that. Third assist for Jalen. 50 and 3. As half court heave. Yep, we have a nice 22 point lead going into halftime. And there we go. He waited until the fourth quarter with two minutes left. Still up at 19 to finally to quit. I don't know why he didn't do it at halftime. But you know what? Here it is. Jalen Rose ended with 75. I was working towards a goal of dropping 81. You know, revenge on Kobe. But I guess I'm going to have to change the title because I didn't quite get there. But either way, Jalen Rose, absolutely amazing. Jump shot 32, I got to say, one of, is one of the most slept on jumpers in the game. I mean, on Trevor Reese and Hunter, it is amazing. And on this Jalen Rose, it is killer i think it's uh it's gonna be a tough decision between rose and darius miles for like the best budget current gen pg but both of these guys are absolutely amazing they are awesome the slashing on them both is great the shooting is amazing love the playmaking i love the defense all around just great options 7kmt for Jalen rose and you get a guy who can literally do it all 
at your point guard position and even is a great small forward as well which you got to love that you could also run the offensive through uh, uh, i can't speak the offense through um like the video if you did enjoy comment down below what you guys think of this jalen rose card check out the other three gameplays that we did uh poku rudy gay and darius miles I'll be linked in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We are on that road to 10K subscribers. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.